find the derivative of this function. Observe, this is sine inverse of x. However, at the top of this sine inverse of x is 5. To differentiate this function, we are going to apply chain rule. To find the dy dx of this function, the 5 at the top will come down. Next, we are going to differentiate the sine inverse of x. If you differentiate the sine inverse of x, you are going to get 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared for the derivative of the sine inverse of x. Next, we open a bracket and bring back the sine inverse of x here according to chain rule. Next, the 5 at the top will minus 1 according to power rule of derivatives. Next, simplify the result. And this becomes our dy dx. Alternatively, using chain rule, we can say let u be equal to sine inverse of x and y will become u to the power of 5. This is u and this is x and we are going to have du dx. Next, this is y and this is u and we have dy du. Next, differentiate sine inverse of x and you're going to have this. Next, differentiate u to the power of 5 and you have 5u to the power of 4. Next, apply the formula of chain rule to find our dy dx. Hence, we're going to multiply these two results and replace the value of u which is sine inverse of x. Multiplying our result and replacing the value of u, this is our dy dx, which is the same answer as we obtained earlier using shortcut method. From the options, our answer is d. Next. Let's find the derivative of x to the power of 3 arc tan x. We can rewrite this question as arc tan x is the same as tan inverse of x. x to the power of 3 is multiplying tan inverse of x. Hence, we apply product rule. For multiplying functions. Next, to solve this problem, keep x to the power of 3 constant. Next, differentiate tan inverse of x. When you differentiate tan inverse of x, you are going to get 1 divide 1 plus x squared. And we are going to have this for the derivative of tan inverse of x. Next, according to product rule, we put a plus. Next, keep tan inverse of x constant. Next, differentiate x to the power of 3 and you have 3x squared. And this is our dy dx. From the options, our answer is a. Remember that tan inverse of x is the same thing as arctan x. Next, let's find the derivative of this function. For dividing functions, we are going to apply quotient rule. To find the dy dx, we are going to start with the denominator by keeping the denominator constant. Next, we differentiate the numerator. 
if you differentiate exponential x you are going to get exponential x next for dividing functions we are going to use a minus next we are going to keep the numerator constant which is exponential x next we differentiate the denominator which is cos inverse of x when you differentiate the cos inverse of x you're going to get minus 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared hence the derivative of cos inverse of x is this according to quotient rule the denominator will return however it's going to be squared next minus will multiply minus and you're going to get a plus next you're going to open up this bracket and find the lcm at the numerator next this will now come down to multiply the denominator and this becomes our dy dx from the options our answer is c next let's find the derivative of this function let's observe that sine x have taken over the place of x if you differentiate tan inverse of x you're going to get 1 divide 1 plus x squared the differentiation of x gave us 1 but we now have sine x differentiate sine x and you're going to get cos x next in the place of x we are going to substitute sine x sine x in bracket squared is the same thing as sine squared x and this becomes our dy dx from the options our answer is a next let's find the derivative of cosec inverse of exponential x here you can observe that exponential x have taken over the place of x arc cosec x is the same thing as cosec inverse of x when you differentiate this you are going to get this if you differentiate x you are going to get one this minus is in the formula however here we have exponential x when you differentiate exponential x you're going to get exponential x next wherever i see x i'm going to replace this x with exponential x next this squared will multiply the x at the power of exponential and this is our dy dx from the options our answer is b in a separate video we are going to look at the application of implicit differentiation to an inverse trigonometric function like this this is calculus in the next video we are going to consider the differentiation of logarithms and exponentials of other bases